Hi there. Okay, for today's read aloud, we are going to be doing a drama or play. It's titled The Veggie Tale. So for this um, read aloud, I'm not going to be showing you any pictures, um, like from a book or anything. I have these little characters that I'm going to be bringing out as I read the script. Okay? The script right here, it's kind of hard to see, but the script is... Um, all the lines of the characters. And remember, since it's just me, I'm acting out for each character, right? Okay, so before we get started, I would like to go over what is a drama? I'll give you a moment to think about it. We've been talking about it the last couple of days. All right, dramas are stories that are read and acted out. So what I would like for you to do is look for a narrator who says words the characters do not say, okay? And um, our purpose for today, for reading today, is I would like to, for you to use the characteristics of a drama, such as characters, setting, dialogue. I would like for you to um, pay attention, though. See if you can't, if you don't notice them as I'm acting out um, this little play, The Veggie Thief. Before we get started, I would like to go over some words with you, and it's kind of hard to see. This is a glossary for the veggie tale. Sorry, the veggie thief. There's a couple of words in here that you may or may not know. And if you don't know them, that's okay. I'm about to go for these words. A lot. To give someone their share or portion. Community garden. A garden shared by members of the community. Exasperated. Extremely frustrated. At the end of your rope. Forlorn, very sad. Glare, to stare in an angry way. Harvest, to pick fruits or vegetables once they've grown. Mournful, full of grief. Neighboring, right beside. Salsa, a spicy tomato dip. And sheepish, a little guilty or embarrassed. All right. Now that we've gone over what a drama is, we've gone over um, the glossary for the veggie thief, I'm going to introduce you to the characters. We have skunk and we have rabbit, okay? We also have the narrator, but we've talked about this before. And is the narrator a character? No, they're letting the audience know what is going on. They're giving us an overview, okay. So, what I'm going to do is, since I have these little, these little guys right here, I'm not going to say narrator and then say the line. I'm just going to hold it up, okay? Because it has the name narrator, skunk, and rabbit. So, if I'm doing this, that means this character is talking, okay? All right. So, let's begin. The veggie thief. Skunk was excited about the new community garden. She planted a variety of vegetables in the small patch she was allotted. Skunk took great care of her garden. She watered it every day and once a week pulled out all of the weeds. Soon the first of her vegetables were ready to be harvested. Skunk eagerly opened the gate to the community garden. I can't wait to pull my carrots. I wonder how big they'll be. Skunk stood over her garden and looked at where her carrots had been planted. My carrots! Someone's picked them! Skunk stomped out of the garden. Later that day, oh so, Skunk stomped out of the garden. <laughs> Later that day, Skunk went for a walk around the neighborhood. By this time, her anger had turned to sadness. She walked right past Rabbit, who was lounging on a comfy chair on his porch. Okay, give me just a second. Make room for my characters. So here is Rabbit lounging, hanging out, and Skunk is walking by, okay? Hey Skunk, you look sad. Come, come up for some tea. Oh, all right. Rabbit serves Skunk. Sorry, Rabbit served Skunk a hot cup of tea, as well as some freshly baked dessert. Ha, 
have some of my carrot cake. I tried a new recipe. Skunk bit into the cake. Delicious rabbit. Skunk and rabbit chatted on rabbit's porch. Skunk's mood brightened indeed. The next day, Skunk whistled as she entered the community garden. She was carrying a bucket. My tomatoes are just right. They'll be perfect in my salad tonight. But Skunk's jaw dropped as she stared at her tomato plants. My tomatoes! Someone's picked them! Skunk stomped out of the garden. <laughs> Later that day, Skunk went for a walk around the neighborhood. She was positively forlorn. She walked right past Rabbit, who is reading on his porch. So here we go. Reading on the porch, walking by. Hey, Skunk, having a bad day? Come and join me for a snack on my porch. Oh, all right, I am a little hungry. Rabbit served Skunk a tall, gra tall glass of lemonade, as well as a plate full of crackers and fresh tomato salsa. I made the salsa this morning. Skunk spread the chunky salsa on a cracker and took a bite. Delicious, Rabbit. Skunk and Rabbit chatted on Rabbit's porch. When it was time to leave, Skunk had forgotten all about what had happened to her tomatoes. The next day, Skunk hummed as she entered the community garden. <laughs> My zucchinis are nice and fat. I can't wait to have some for supper tonight. Skunk lifted the leaves, shading her zucchini. My zucchini too? No! Skunk began to shake with anger. She couldn't help it. She allowed out a huge spray. What do skunks do when they're mad or scared? <gasps> they, they let out that spray and it, does it smell good? Mm -mm. <laughs> Later that day, Skunk went for a walk around the neighborhood. She was totally frustrated. She walked right past Rabbit who was doing a crossword puzzle on his porch porch. Walking by. Hey skunk, you look like you need some cheering up. I have a special treat you're going to love. <sighs> well, all right. It does smell good. Rabbit served skunk a tall glass of milk and a plate full of a sweet baked bread. I just made this zucchini bread this morning. Skunk took a bite. Delicious, rabbit. All of a sudden, Skunk had a thought. Her eyes widened, then narrowed as she examined rabbit. What do you think is going to happen? What is your prediction? What's going on with Skunk? What did Skunk just realize about rabbit? I'm going to give you a moment to make your prediction. All right. Wait a second, Rabbit. I know what's going on here. Care cake on Monday, salsa on Tuesday, and zucchini bread on Wednesday. You've been taking cooking classes, haven't you? <laughs> Is that what you thought Rabbit, um, Skunk was going to say? Well, as a matter of fact, I have. <laughs> Did your prediction come true? Mine didn't come true. Skunk and Rabbit chatted happily on Rabbit's porch. Skunk was feeling great. The next day, Skunk tramped to the community garden first thing in the morning. Instead of going to her patch, she hid behind a bean plant in the neighboring patch. I'm going to catch that veggie thief if I have to stay here all day. Skunk did not have to wait long. She heard some humming coming from her patch. Skunk, skunk peeked out from behind the bean plant. She gasped. 
there was her good friend Rabbit picking her peas. Skunk came charging out from behind the bean plant. She marched up to Rabbit. Here's Rabbit um, in the community, in the garden. Here's Skunk. Rabbit, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Skunk. I'm picking peas for my new recipe. I'm making pea soup today. But Rabbit, those are my peas. Oh, Skunk, don't be silly. It's a community garden. Everyone's allowed to use it. Uh-oh. I think there's some confusion here. Yes, everybody's allowed to grow and pick their own vegetables. Rabbit froze. A sheepish look spread across his face. face. Remember, sheepish, sheepish is um, embarrassed. Oh dear, you mean I've been picking your vegetables this whole time? Skunk glared at Rabbit. Yes, Skunk, I am so sorry. I didn't, I thought. Rabbit's eyes filled with tears. Skunk looked at her pea plant, then at Rabbit. She thought about what a good friend Rabbit had been to her, especially over the past few days. Rabbit's face softened. Well, Rabbit, what do you think? What do you think Skunk's gonna say to Rabbit? Give me a moment to think about it. Yeah. Rabbit looked at that skunk mournfully. We better get to work picking these peas. They're not going to pick themselves, really. Oh, Skunk, it's going to be the best pea soup you ever tasted. Skunk and Rabbit spent the morning happily picking peas. From then on, Skunk grew the vegetables. And Rabbit did the cooking. And by the way, the pea soup, it was all delicious. The end. Okay, so that's the end of our um, little reader's feed, our little drama, our play, The Veggie Thief. So, um, I hope you like this little, um, I hope you like this little, uh, different way I did this read aloud. thought it'd be fun to have these little characters and um, show you an actual script. So hope you enjoy today's read aloud.